So today, instead of working on my pile of gravel, I went and viewed five farms with the awesome Angelo to go, yeah. Some people who subscribe to my channel contacted me. They can't get to Portugal because of this coronavirus and they desperately wanted to look at farms. So I went to look at five today. And I'm so pleased to come back and look at Villa Pedra. Let's start here. How big is this one? So this one is uh, 1.7. 1 1.7 hectares. 23,500 euros. Okay, 23,500 euros. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And on the left is where we have again the pines and the, our bench. We have the So the pines wall. are on all the boundaries. We have the stone wall in all our boundaries. Terrace with the olives and the lower terrace where they've been using to grow the veg and this is where we have the well. Okay, so this is just overgrown completely. Yes, yes. Was to keep the land uh, safe from the animals because this part was used more for the animals before. Okay. It's because that we have less trees. And now this side we have the stone building, the terrace with the olives, and then we have the lower terrace was the green terrace for the veg, and this is where we have the well. Okay. Okay. The stone building we have more or less here around 30 square meters and even then in the future if you want to do some extension or okay but there wouldn't be a habitation license but this for farming or what no this one's because they are uh, we consider this stone building they are before 51 and they are okay. exempt from the habitation license okay so this one is before 1951 so yes. it's exempt he's exempt exactly okay. even then here in the future if you want to do an extension or uh, use like a mobile home and attach to the stone yeah building and then you can that this could it. be attached to like a mobile home or something exactly okay the walls are strong there's a bit of collapse over there but otherwise it looks quite good and then and then the olive trees that's the other farmer that is other farmer so the wall with the fence with the wire fence is our boundary okay all our property is all fenced it's all uh, the whole the farm the whole property is fenced yes okay Yeah. Um, pears, apples, orange. Okay. Uh, was the growing the growing land? Okay, so this terrace and there's the well. Yes. And then that's neighbors over and there. That side is the neighbor. Okay. You can walk a little bit up so you can have a better idea. The wall would be coming across there. Okay. And then go straight up until our gate. Okay. I'm sorry, <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, so we had to walk down a, a track because the track hadn't been driven on in the last six, seven years. But the condition was actually quite good. So this farm is 12 k's from Casano Branco and 2 k's from the nearest little town. On the corner? Okay. The right, so. This one we have good access, we have the electric just here if you want to connect Yeah In the future And then we have one part with the forest And we, then we have the well and the growing land Okay, and so this is about 1.4 hectares Yes And because it's so new you don't know the price I yet I don't know yet the price, yes I'm going to tell you in a few, in a few minutes Am I uh, waiting for the call? Okay Okay, cork trees 
pine, oh, lots of pine trees. Yes, so this up here what is the forest spot, and then down there is the growing land. Growing spot. Yes. Are there some olive, olive trees? We have some olives down there. We see a few oak fruit trees. So from the wall there, yeah. the stone wall, is our boundary, always on the track. Okay. And then we have all this like center region, center area, where was the growing land. Okay. And then one part from that forest. And one part of this forest. Is our also. And we have the well down here. The well, okay. The problem is no well looks as beautiful as my well. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so and this one does not have any building, eh? No structure. No, not building. Okay. Put oh, you got to look beautiful, <laughs> but this is the amazing Angelo. <laughs> okay, 1.7 1. So 1. hectares, 1.7 hectares, uh, 23,500 euros. Okay, okay, good. So, very good access, but no, no structure, but very fertile ground. And is here, yeah, this is 9,000 9, square meters, uh, 20,000 euros, and we have two wells and a stone building. Okay. This is our drive to the land. So the land starts already up here. We have yeah. that flat terrace on the top. And then we have on the valley with olives, uh, cork trees, oak, pine, and we see a few, some of the fruit trees. So that stone is the boundary, is the mark where it makes the boundary. Ah, uh, okay. okay. And there's pines on this side. Yes, on the left side we have a few pines and we have one or two eucalypt stones. And then we have the oak trees, cork trees. Beautiful, yeah. The terrace with the olives. Yeah, it's quite a nice size olive grove here. Yes, and we have some nice uh, mature olives. Mm. And they have been uh, well, uh, uh, well, well kept. Uh, it's been well kept, yeah. Even you see, they have been already cut the brown from the. Yeah, yeah, brown. yeah. They've already been pruned for the pruned. to get ready for the next yeah. season. Okay. Yeah. And then here is where we have the stone building. But this was also before uh, fifty one. Yeah. They've been using to keep the tools, the uh, storage room. Yeah, so at least it's got like a good <laughs> good tin roof on. Yes. This so this is before 1951, so yes. you can change it to live in no to problem. Live in and even do an extension in wood or put a mobile home or on that. When we don't have the permanent foundation, it's the, the easy way. And we don't need a plan. Then we have this uh, terrace here. And then on this side here, our pantry. Oh, there's like I can hear water running. Yes, we have a stream there running. Okay, so the stream is on the border. It's on the border, exactly. So, see, 
me, this is our <coughs> boundary here, okay? Goes until the stream, so that yeah. is our last terrace, and then go straight up until the truck where we come in. Okay. Okay. And we have like a few walls, they made like the terrace. Uh, yeah. To keep uh, the land, to make a diff diff uh, some flat terrace. Okay, and, and so, so there's these other stone buildings that are in the neighbors. That is on the neighbors, yes. Mm. Okay. And then on that side is where we have the two wells on the other side. Okay. They have all a, a spring, so if you clean and take the water out, then the water comes again. Okay, okay so spring-fed spring well. Spring-fed, yes. So this is our last terrace, and we where we have the brambles is that stream Yeah, running. that runs there. Yes. And the other well is up on the, on the terrace there. Yeah, some big, it's big cork tree. We need also clean and take all yeah. these brambles. They are growing inside. But I tell you, the grass over here is, if you've got animals, this is beautiful grass. Yeah. The land on this uh, terrace up here, on this three terrace, the land is very fertile. Yeah, I can um, see. Both wells. We have the system, the whole system, the picota to take the water with the back yeah. to do the irrigation. Andres along here where these brambles are. Yes. So where you see the wild, these meadows. Okay. Okay, so this terrace and then the terrace with the forest. Yeah, this is definitely a property that's got it all and I think I think it's beautiful. If I didn't buy my farm, I would buy this one, I think. This is a beautiful one. different. Mm, lots of olives. We have this one and more olives. And then we have the well on the top, we have the fruit trees, we have the stone building, we have more open views. This one is also one hectare. <coughs> one hectare? 20,000 euros. <coughs> 20,000 euros, okay. There's lovely views from here. Yeah. On this one. Um, and this one maybe we have more privacy because we are more down. So we don't have we have only the little farms around. Yeah, yeah. And this is actually quite good access as well, yeah. Yes. Any can any car can come easily. Yeah, well, I'm just this higher car, this little Fiat Panda. Oh, this is like mine. It's got a the one side and then the road on the next and then to it. The road on the other. We don't have the keys, but inside is a open space. And it's for the more used for the animals before. Yeah. Hmm? It's a big well. Yeah. And uh, we have that terrace, even walk where they grow space. Okay. And these olive trees have also been pruned, I can see. Yeah. them all on the center all this little branch here on the center to open on the center for catch the sun and they breathe and then the bigger ones 
the ones who go up, mm -hmm. usually we cut them also. For the, because then you need a big ladder to yeah. collect them. So the tree needs to be always lower and grows to the side. Yeah. That is the way we we usually do it. Yeah. Because then on the center, the next year comes the some branch, and then on the second one, that branch they are full with the olive. Okay. Is because that usually we have one year have good olives, the other one we have less. Yeah. Is always like uh, yeah. That. There's a lot of olive trees here. I was getting excited, thinking, "Gee, this is a fancy one with a gate." <laughs> well, we have one gate like this one, but our gate is on the front, but we don't have yet the keys because this is also new on the market. Okay. So we enter from here. Okay, so this one is new on the market, but this one will be a lot more expensive. Not hey? It's not yet here. No, 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 I'm saying you're saying this one is, oh, this other one is new on the market. Yes, come. Because our little one is not here. Fechei o portão, porque you see the mark? From that stone there? You see the marks? Always down? Yeah, all those so little stones all the way down. From this line to the left, where, okay. we have, where the sheep are. And we have our gate like that one on that side. Okay. Okay? Okay. We have a well, the hollies, and we have the big stone building on the bottom. Okay, let's have a look. And we have the sheep dogs. <laughs> So how big is this one? This is uh, 1.3 hectares. 1.3 hectares? We have that big stone wall, uh, the stone building and the well, uh, 24,500. 24,500? Yes. Okay. So this is what I have to do with mine, is put this fence around. Yes, but it looks ugly though with the fence. With the fence, yes. But then if you have the possibility. I'd rather just get r rocks and build it up. Put some, uh, some uh, stones around, even if you don't do like a proper wall. Yeah. But yeah. you put some stones to, to be a little bit higher. Yeah. Because by the law we need to have that, yeah. uh, that fence. So then we have the bottom wall, the bottom wall and the, the stone building just down there. Okay. Is this like a traditional uh, Portuguese breed of sheep? I see, they're all coming to say hello to me. They look at, they're so nosy. Look, they're all coming to say hello. Short grass because the sheep they are here. Yeah. So the sheep the, the sheep belongs to the other farmer. No, he's a guy on the other side on the village he have the sheep and this owner have been leave permission for they live there. Yeah. And he's the guy who is looking for the land and he's pruning the trees, collecting the olives. Okay. Because otherwise it can be wild like the other ones we saw. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the, that's what's happened with my one. They gave them permission to yes, let the sheep. Before, before, yes. So then we have the stone building down there. That's quite a nice stone building. And here, we are very near to Castelo Branco. We don't notice from here because mm. we, are, we come from a different way. 
But from here to Castelo Branco is uh, 12 kilometers. 12 kilometers. And the access, we come from the one on the top. Yeah. But we have a short way, is where we go out now. Yeah. To the main road, is only like one kilometer and a half to the, to the, to the main road. road. To the main road. Okay. And then we have the village on the top, where we have the coffee and the mm. grocery shop. And then Castelo Branco. Mm. It's the bigger town. See, they've been harvesting olives. There's a little stone cottage. It looks quite solid. And this whole place is surrounded by wall. So you see the guy still collecting? Yeah, he's still collecting his olives. And pruning. If you want any more information on any of these five farms, please email or phone AmazingAngelo. His details are in the description.